My name is Chris Krantz. I'm the owner of HDK B Supplies and Apiaries in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, I wanted to show you two new products that we have in. Uh, this one I'm sure you've seen before. Uh, most of the other beekeeping suppliers carry this. Uh, typically the price range is anywhere between uh, $13 to $15. Or it all depends on, on the supplier. Um, and then this is the, the one that we've just uh, started to carry. Uh, I have not seen any other suppliers with this. There, there could be, but uh, as far as the mainstream, I just really have not seen this anywhere. I hear it's pretty popular in Europe. Uh, I'm going to start by just going over this one real quick because everybody's seen this uh, in most of the magazines and, and things that come out. Uh, you know, my, my first problem with this is the, the tray. It's, it, it just slides in, um, and there's only a little, you know, an eighth of an inch of plastic holding it in. So something happens. It really does flip out fairly easily. You know, the, the quality is here. You know, it's a very nice made product, but but it's just it's the, the plastic is real thin, and I don't think it's going to hold up well to heat. Uh, and you know, it sits on the the, the colony, and, and the bees come through here, and you know, traps the pollen by pulling the the pollen off the the legs and letting it drop down. Well, obviously, you're not going to be collecting pollen all the time because the bees need to use a pollen to mix with the honey to make bee bread and they, they feed it to the, the young. Well, the way to do that is, is you have to hold this up to keep the bees from going in. And, you know, basically they say, well, just put a piece of tape to hold it. Well, you know, obviously that piece of tape is going to get wet and it's going to lose its stickiness. So you have to constantly replace it. Um, and one of my, my biggest problems with this unit is that it's not sturdy when it's sitting on the, the front of the bottom board section. So I'll show you. You know, this was the edge of your bottom board. It's going to sit right there, and then it's going to fall off. And you know, of course, the unit breaks apart. Now, uh, basically, what it is is when you put it on there, you, you put an L bracket in uh, on your your hive, and that holds this in place. Well, the problem is, is that every hive that you want to trap pollen from, you've got to make sure you put the L bracket on. And then, you know, when you rotate your your boxes, then you've got to take the bracket off and and move it down there. So there's a lot of back end work to using this pollen trap. Um, now this one is kind of the complete opposite. Uh, it literally will not break apart if it falls. Basically, it, it's not going to fall apart like this one does. Um, it's made of a, a compound plastic, so it's actually really hard. You can't, you know, really bend the unit like you can with this one. Um, and the really good thing about this is it's very sturdy. So, you know, if this is your, your bottom board and, and you have this on the edge and, you know, it's blocking the bees from going in, it literally will sit there. Sit there just fine, even with a little bit of wind. I've used these for a couple months, uh, you know, so far this year, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. If you want to let bees go through, um, because like I said before, you just pull this out. There, there's no need to tape anything. Um, you know, it doesn't have any any problems like that. Now, you look at this, and yeah, the holes may seem a little small to you, but uh, the bees will figure it out. Um, you know, I, I put this on a colony, and within five minutes, the bees were going through uh, like they, they should, uh, but it does take a little bit. Uh, the only difference I see here as far as features, uh, this one does not have a hole on the, the backside for drones to eventually figure out uh, for them to come and go. Uh, I think we might be you know, in the mix to, to actually just drill a hole ourselves um, so the drones can come and go. The manufacturer doesn't have any desire to add and change that to their tooling right now. It can get kind of expensive. Um, so let me show you how the, you actually disassemble this to get the pollen out. And one of the reasons why it's, you know, so strong and, and, and doesn't fall apart is this here will actually hold the whole unit together. As soon as that is out, then this can slide forward and you take the top off and collect the pollen that way. Um, and, and it's really simple. You put it back together, you just slide this unit back in. You've collected your pollen. Slide this together, and there you go, back in business again. Um, and you know, if it's, a, if it's an opposing day where you're not collecting pollen, pop it open, you can leave it there, that way you're not constantly transporting this to and from your, your vehicle. Um, so, well, I hope that this little brief demonstration of these two help you decide on which one you want to purchase. Um, this model I think is a little cheaper and a little better made, higher quality, and it's, it's more user friendly, whereas this unit, you know, needs, needs a little bit of work, but I think this is 
this is what you're going to get though. I don't think you're going to change anything. Um, if you want to make a purchase or have any other questions, you can visit us online at www.htkbsupply.com or you can always reach us anytime, 301-693-8344. Uh, Thank you.